What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl Chantal here, back again with another lit video. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for tuning back in. So now you guys have read by today's title, and today I am going to be trying to install my wig using the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray for the very first time. This video is courtesy of Got To Be Glued. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the family, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. I am going to be starting off with a crochet wig that I made. Unfortunately, I didn't record myself making this wig. That's because I was on a time crunch to complete this wig. But if you would like to see my previous um, crochet tutorials, I will link them in the description box down below. So now that my dome cap is cut away, the dome cap that's underneath the lace is cut away now. I'm going to go in with some foundation that I literally just got from like the CBD area. It was like 20 rands and it matches my skin tone i don't really want to use the foundation that i use on my skin because i mean ultimately i'm just gonna wash it off my lace and that's just wasting product but i'm using a powder brush that i just made um tiny or compact so that i can apply the foundation better just make sure that it doesn't seep through and also i'm going to be going in with my got to be glued blasting free spray just to make sure that i am locking in the foundation and that it doesn't move or stain my natural hair I am going to be brushing away my hair using a hairbrush and then I'm going to clip it away using a clip that I got from the beauty supply store for about 4 rands. This is to just make sure that the little strands of hair don't mess up with my installation. Because it is my first time working with Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray, I decided to work in sections. So now I'm just going to clip away or cut away the first section and then along the hairline, I'm going to be cutting it using a zigzag motion or following a zigzag pattern. And you also want to make sure that you're using the tip of your scissors just to make sure that you get a precise um, cut and a precise look. Also, try and get slim scissors. Can you see how the scissors I'm using look? Those are the scissors you want to use because they are more precise or you can even go for hair scissors if you can find those. I did apply my first layer when I was applying my wig. I just wanted it to dry completely. Now I'm going in with my second layer and this is to just make sure that my wig actually sticks on and it will not move. Now the trick with the got to be blasting free spray is that you actually wait for it to become tacky. You can use your blow dryer and I have a blow dryer that only has a high setting. Let me tell you something. It worked exactly the same way. I know we are always told to use it on cool setting, but for me, it worked exactly the same way. Just make sure that it is not too hot. Now that my spray or my layer is now tacky, I'm going to push my lace forward and then press it down using my red tail comb. This will make sure that everything lays down and it melts perfectly. I am going to be doing what I did on the first section on the two other sections. I just quickly want to talk to you guys about the got to be blasting free spray. When I'm telling you that I was shook, sis, I've never seen a spray like this. Like, literally, I'm never putting it down. It's not happening. The hold is just out of this world. I am so in love with it. And I also want to talk about the white residue because I always get questions about the white residue and if it makes your hair crunchy. Now, the only time I experienced white residue was when I sprayed too much product. So you don't need anything above three layers. Literally, three layers will do the trick. I did too because I didn't want to have my wig on for a very long time. And if you're going to do layers, make sure that the previous layer completely dries before you apply the second layer. With that being done or with if you follow those steps, literally your wig is not going anywhere. Wig snatches can come, wig snatches can try. Listen, got to be has your back and that's on period, okay?
Just a heads up, this is a holding spray. It's meant to make your hair last in a particular style. So it will make your synthetic wigs or whatever wig that you have um, crunchy. One way to avoid that is having a damp cloth close to you and whenever you accidentally spray it on the hair, just quickly wipe it with a damp cloth and it will not become crunchy. Or you can just brush it away using a toothbrush or your edge brush or even your... Um, paddle brush for me i just use anything i don't really mind the crunchiness because it re it literally dies down after a few minutes because you didn't really set it in place so it's not much of a big deal but if it does bug you then you can use one of the tips that i gave you like i've already said I do have a blow dryer that only has a hot setting so when I'm using it I'm making sure that it's at least 10 centimeters I don't know if it's 10 centimeters honey I wasn't measuring okay but I'm making sure that it's not directly on my blasting free spray because I don't want anything to go wrong so you'd rather be safe than sorry and the further you are away from your blasting free spray the more cool or the cooler the air is i don't know that's what i think it hasn't been scientifically proven or anything like that but honey i do whatever works for me okay and that's some period To make sure that everything has melted and everything is setting in place, I'm going to first brush away my hair and then I'm going to use my bandana to tie down my hairline and make sure that everything is melting in. Now you can use your silk scarf or anything that you have. I just preferred a bandana because that was the first thing I saw and it's really tiny so I won't have trouble trying to get it around my head. Right after that I blow dried my hair just because I wanted it to look a little bit more silky or whatever. After 10 minutes I decided to take off my bandana. Yes I did change my backdrop in case you were worried or something like that. But as you guys can see I was shook okay. I loved the results. My lace was melting in very very nicely. And also this wig wasn't really made with the lace that they use for wigs. So if my lace, if my fabric lace, literally this is the lace that they use to make clothes. So if this lace melts in nicely, imagine with the perfect or the right lace. Oh my gosh you guys like uh, I'm so mind blown but right now I'm taking my damp cloth and I'm wiping away the excess product around my hairline because it doesn't really look cute on camera even in person and especially if you're gonna put on your makeup it will have like this really shiny thing and you don't need to have excess product on your skin but it's just a preference thing I just advise you to do it because I don't like it but if you like it I mean girl do you. I don't know about you but I always get my ear tabs wrong like they never want to stick down so right now I'm going to be taking my damp cloth and I'm just going to wipe away the product that's on my ear tabs then taking my blasting freeze spray I'm going to spray it there 
I'm not even gonna wait for you to get tacky. I'm not even, I'm not gonna give it a chance. I'm going to take my lace and then place it on top of the free spray. Then I'm going to press it down using my rat tail comb. And while that's happening, I'm going to take my blow dryer and just make sure that when the blasting free spray dries, it melts the lace and it actually sticks the lace. This is the only method that I've discovered that works for me. I haven't really tried many methods, okay? But this is the only thing that I've tried and has worked for me. I don't have a hot comb so this is what I do. I literally put my blow dryer on the highest setting and then I comb my hair. This just makes sure that my hair is flat and it's not as bumpy as it looked before. But I don't know, it's just been working for me. It's just a thing that I've been doing. And then I took out these two strands. When I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, I look like Doja Cat. Is it me? Maybe I'm tripping. But other than that, that'll be the end of today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to got to be for sponsoring today's video. I am so loving their products. And I'm so happy to be finally trying different hairstyles with different hair textures. And also, thank you so, so much for 900 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.